Okay, now we need to determine the pore water pressure from the flow net. So we need to determine the pore water pressure in the soil at point P and Q. I'm referring to the same uh, example as you can see here. So we have two points which is P and Q. Also mentioned here, also stated here, where is the locations of P and Q. So 4.5 on the left side from the sheet pile and 4 meter from the boundary B, B here. Okay, so we put that point on the graph based on the dimension given in the question. So this is the locations of P and this is the locations of Q. Alright, so we also have an F and N D. This information will be used later on. Okay. And then the first step we need to set the datum is actually the reference lines of the solutions. Okay, so normally we set the datum at the bottom uh, layer. Okay, so that is the datum, meaning that the calculations, okay, the, the reference for for the elevation. Okay, the reference for the elevation will start at the datum line. Okay, then we need to determine the heat loss. Delta H for each equipotential line means that um, the heat loss for, for, from one equipotential line to another potential equipotential line. So, the delta H, alright, so from one line to another line okay so how to get the heat loss for each equipotential line so uh, one equipotential line to another potential equipotential line will have the uh, constant heat yang sama eh? same same uh, uh, piezometric uh, uh, pressure with the delta h is equivalent to h over nd Okay, so where is H? Why, why H equal to 5 is actually from the question just now. Okay, so we have the H here. This is the H lah actually. 5.5 again minus 0 0.5 meter. Okay, this is the H. Okay, it is in a capital letter actually. Okay, the H divided by ND. So the ND from the flow net is 11. So 5 divided by 11, you will have 0 0.55. So, the heat loss from one equipotential line to another equipotential line is 0 0.55, 4.55 meter. Okay, now number three is actually, we are to solve this equation is actually related to this equation. Okay, so the total H, HT is equivalent to pressure H, HP symbol plus elevation H. Okay, from the pressure heat with the elevation, the heat caused by elevation. So, later, at the end later, to get the pore water pressure at point P, so we need to use HP, which is pressure heat, at point P times with the unit weight of water, which is 9.81 kN per meter cube. Right, so now, um, is actually we know we can identify the elevation at point P. Okay, elevation is actually the the distance eh, from the data. So now what we need to do is to settle for the part of pressure H. This is HP. Okay, now the next step is at point P. So our our concern is at point P. So we need to have Total heat at point P, which is equivalent to pressure heat at point P plus elevation heat at point P. Alright, so I'm referring again to the diagram from the question. So for the elevation heat, okay, we can settle for the elevation heat first. Is equivalent to 8 meter. <coughs> okay, from the datum. Okay, from the datum. Okay, so you can see here the, the locations of P. Once we set the datum here, knowing that this is 12, okay, and then this is 4. So, 12 minus by 4, you will have 8 meter. 12 minus by 4, you will have 8 meter. That is the elevation height of location of P from the datum. 
And then we need to know the head loss at point P. Okay, now specifically we want to know the head loss at point P. So this is an, the equation, how to get the he head loss at certain point. So for this example, it's at point P. So the delta H that we calculate just now, we need to calculate, we need to multiply with the ND number of equipotential line at point P. Okay. Mention here, stated here that the ND at point P is 1.75. How to get this value 1.75? Alright. So if you look back at the, uh, equipotential line, all right, so you can see that there are two dotted lines there. It's actually as a guide to get the ND numbers of equipotential lines. Okay, so remember that to determine the numbers of equipotential line, the ND, you can have a zero uh, at the left side at the top. And then the first equipotential line is here. And then the second potential line is here. All right, so now since P, since P located between the equipotential line number one and equipotential line number two. So in between the equipotential line number one and two is actually there are various numbers of equipotential line. Okay. From one to T to two. Okay. Now, so we plot uh, roughly sketch roughly to get what is the value in the middle? So let's say that one is 1.5. It's a line for 1.5. It could potential line 1.5. So roughly like this sketch to touch the lines at point P. So we can estimate that one is around 1.75. Okay. So actually there are various lines left here. So let's say 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. In the middle is 1.5. Okay. So at point P is the ND at 1.75. Okay. The equipotential line at 1.75. So that's why you have ND at point P is equivalent to 1.75. Okay. Because that the point P is located at ND equivalent to 1.75. Okay. Now, um, the delta H just now that we have 0 0.455 is actually from the step number two. Then we can calculate the heat loss, okay, specific heat loss at point P by using this equation. So the delta H is 0 0.455 with the ND at point P is 1.75. So you have the heat loss at point P is 0 0.796. Okay, that is the step number four. Okay, you identify the head loss at point P. Okay, now we need to calculate the total head upstream. Okay, the total head upstream. So look at in the question. So at the upstream, you have 5.5. And then plus we the layer of sand, which is the 12 meter. Okay, so this is at the upstream because the movement of water is from upstream. And then to the downstream. So it will um, cross the 5.5 meter to the 12 meter also. So you have the total head upstream is 17.5. Okay, then to get the total head at point P. So this is how to get the total head at point P. So from the total head upstream just now, which is 17.5, minus with the head loss at point P. Okay, because we want the specific total heat point at point P. We need to HTP here. So to get that one, so you have 17.5 minus 0 0.796, you will have 16.704 meter. And then from H total, okay, from the basic equation, from the basic equation, from the uh, equation yang asal, so at point P, <coughs> The HP, the total uh, head pressure at point P just now is 17.704, equivalent to pressure head plus elevation head. 
knowing elevation head is 8 meter so now we can get the pressure head okay just now kita dah bagi tahu kita nak dapatkan weight what is the value of pressure head so from the total head minus elevation head so this is the pressure head the value of pressure head will be used to get the pore water pressure okay so the finally to get the pore water pressure at point p Okay, to get the pore water pressure at point P, the pressure head times with the unit weight of water. So, you will have this value. <coughs> okay, so this is for point P. You can try to get the uh, pore water pressure at point Q. Alright, so repeat the same step for point Q. 